So two more quarterfinals still yet to be played here at the Victor China Open in Changzhou, China. Women's doubles is next and then we'll finish with mixed doubles. But the women's doubles, we have a battle of the two bronze medalists from the recent World Championships, uh, Tanaka and Yoni Moto, up against Kuri and Kayu. Incidentally, also won bronze medal at the recent Asian Games. So, when we look at the women's doubles draw for Japanese pairs at quarter-final stage. We've already got two Japanese pairs through. Big shock, of course, was that the European champions, Gabriella and Stephanie Stoyeva, are beating the former world champions and Asian Games gold medalists, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, in three thrilling games. So, in the battle of the two Japanese pairs, in the top quarter of the draw. It was a repeat of the World Championship final and it's the same results. It's the World Champions Matsumoto and Nagahara who have beaten the number one seeds Fukushima and Hirota. Sunan. And the service judge Song Gang. Both our court officials from China. And this is the fourth meeting between these two pairs. And not only have Puli Yi and Rahayu won the last one, they've in fact won the last two. Semi-final of the Thailand Super 500 events earlier this year it was the last time they played. And it was Gracia Puli Yi and Apriani Rahayu that won in 45 minutes, 21-15, 21-18. So the two bronze medalists from the recent World Championships do battle here in the quarterfinal stage. Koharu Yonimoto, 27 years of age from Hiroshima. And she and her partner one place down from their career high where they spent three weeks as world number fours. Number five in the world and the third Japanese pair. That just shows the strength in depth of the Japanese women's doubles squad. She turned 26 earlier this month, 16 days ago to be precise, Shiho Tanaka. And they are making their second appearance here at the tournament in Guangzhou. Two years ago, when it was a Grand Prix gold event, they lost in the first round to Chang'e Na and Lee so He, who reached the quarter-final stage. And as you can see, it was yesterday's match against the left-hander, Kao Tong Wei, and her partner, Shen Yu. An hour and eight minutes for that three-game victory. So to Gracia Poli, turned 31 last month. Born in Jakarta, but brought up in Manado, right in the north of North Sulawesi. And yesterday, they went up to a career high of number three as a pair. As you can see, she has been one place higher with former partner Nitya Krashinda Mehaswari, with whom she won the Asian Games gold medal four years ago. Apriani Rahayu is just 20 years of age, making her first appearance here. Three finals for the Indonesians this year from nine tournaments played. Won the India Super 500 and the Thailand Open as well. Runners up at their home Indonesian Masters, a Super 500 event. So they've won both of their matches in two straight games. First round against Goloszewski and Kepline under 30 minutes and then in the second round against Chang Ye Na, the left-hander and Chang Kyung Ung 51 minutes for that encounter So the Japanese 
these pair, incidentally. Our 19 on the race to Guangzhou list for the World Tour Finals. 19th on the list, having played six World Tour tournaments. And would you believe are the eighth pair from Japan on that race to Guangzhou. HSBC BWF World Tour ranking list. That's extraordinary. Eight pairs in the top 20 from Japan. Yeah, so it's basically their A and B team. Mm. On my right, Four pairs in Grisha each Poli team. And uh, Apriyani Rahayo, Indonesia. And on my left, Shiho Tanaka and uh, Kaharo Yonimoto, Japan. Kaharo Yonimoto to serve to Grisha Poli. Lavo. Well, this is the fourth time One, that nine. Gracia Poli has competed here in Guangzhou. And would you believe this is her fourth quarterfinal with a fourth different partner? Well, that's a, a little misleading because one of her quarterfinals was a mixed doubles in 2008 with Flande Limpele. But she's been in the quarterfinal here with Johari. That was in 2010, and then with Mahaswari in 2013. And here she is with yet another partner. There's a common denominator oh. there. I think we can Ready safely someone. assume that Gracia Bolli One, is a very adaptable player and a very good player. Tanaka. A little bit unusual to see her so active on the net. Um, normally the preferred backcourt player in the Japanese combination. of the very last Super right. Series Finals in Dubai. Since the inception now this year of the HSBC BWF World Tour, there will be no more Super Series Finals. Oh, service fault called. Gracia Pauli was struggling with the low serve. That's nice. Well played from Apriani and Rahayu. Good vision, good awareness of where the gap was. That's a super shot. Elbow very heavily strapped. It was strapped last week in yeah. Japan, wasn't it, where they reach the semi-final stage. 
lost to the eventual champions, Fukushima and Hirota, who have gone out in the quarterfinal earlier today. Oh, that's a lovely disguised drop shot from the youngest player on court. And the last two or three shots, it seemed like Tanaka was looking for a way to get to the back court. So, brilliant shot. Oh. So, a service error, along to go with her service fault. He said she was struggling with her serve. It was the last week we saw her go to forehand serve. That's right. Smash. Yeah, she applies a lot of pressure from the back court. Uh, Tanaka has got a uh, fantastic work rate from the back court as well. Oh. I've also seen her struggle with her low serve at times. I remember having seen her use the forehand serve as well. She had to make that. That's well played. Uh, you want to move top? Yeah, it's a good combination play, isn't it? Smash the first one yeah. in a good position to get your front court player involved. That's a good smash too. Definitely uh, gone on the attack. Yonemoto and Tanaka. the hair of Tanaka. It was a deceptive service return gone wrong. That one. Hey. Oh, that's very well taken from Yonimoto. And is the number five seeds from Japan who have a one point advantage over the number four seeds, Poli and Rahayu. Well, by his gestures, the Indonesian coach is suggesting some defensive play that work the opponents.
they do like to be defensive at the early stages of the rally, really work their opponents and then... Then counter-attacking. Yeah, exactly. There's the forehand serve. Just put it, popping it up into the air, just as a way of really starting the rally rather than trying to get advantage. Japanese pair just ran out of patience. That's right, to play the soak those mm. the last shot to get an advantage. That's what you know when you play Poli and pretty uh, much whoever she plays with, you got to be ready to um, get in there and work for between 60 and 90 minutes normally. Just to emphasize your point, seeing last week in Tokyo, the Indonesian pair, every single match was over the hour mark. Yeah. Shortest match was an hour and eight minutes, but the longest against the Stoiva sisters, who are already through to the semi final here, hour and 37 minutes. <laughs> we had some long matches last week. I think that you can see your notes that the one hour and eight minute that was a two game match. Yeah. minutes. and Pauli, she had a better chance of seeing her partner moving backwards. Oh, oh yes, well taken. And they started, uh, Tanaka and Yonemoto, they started this match playing uh, 
a couple of rallies in the opposite uh, positions compared to the preferred ones. I thought that was really good because I think that's necessary for them to develop as a pair, but it's also clear that um, Tanaka is not as sharp at the net um, unless she gets really good chances. Three semi finals this year. All England Championships, the first of the Super 1000, Thailand Open, and of course the World Championships. But considering they finished last year so well with that win at the Super Series finals been unable to keep that form going through to 2018. Oh. 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 Stepped into that nicely, Apriani Rahayu. serve. I don't know why she's receiving so far forward. There's absolutely no pretense about it. You know that it's going to be not even really a flick serve. She's just uh, putting the shuffle exactly. into their side of the court uh, as deep as possible within the, the doubles. And at least try to st take a step further back and see if you can... Uh, pressurize uh, Paulie to try and attempt a, yes. a short service. Sometimes it, it simply becomes a mistake because you're unable to place it on that part of the court. Mm. up the net and went over. That's a two-point difference. It basically always is, but uh, it just feels much more tough when um, it just as well could have stayed on the other side and uh, the Indonesians could have had a two-point lead. Cross-court smash from cross-court smash from from Poli, but also the the sideways movement from uh, Rahayo. Yeah, she's very mobile, and and that makes excellent use of that um, skill. So two game point opportunities for Polly and Rahayu. Here we go again. Error there from Yoni Mo. 
Kamoto, and it means that the opening game to Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu, 21-19 in 19 minutes. ね、チャンスと思ってやっぱり振っちゃうですね。まだ足りないね。体もうちょっと予定ちょっと読んだけどね。え、たそういう場面やっぱり確実しないとやっぱ終わっちゃう。結果に残っちゃうね。これ読ん
the Sho Suzaki, former number one men's singles player from Japan, was also on the coaching bench. Did you notice that? Yes, um, I, I did. And, um, I'm not sure whether he's with the Japanese B team or he's the, the club coach of uh, Tanaka and uh, Yonemoto. But um, a more uh, overall or general uh, No, it's interesting to see, we saw it in Japan Open, that all the players that Park Jobon worked with when he started his, um, his um, tenure in uh, Japan as national coach, they're now working either with the uh, A or B team or in the uh, companies where the players practice so that um, he's not only developed players, I think, he's also developed coaches and that's a part of the explanation for why Japan is doing so well at the moment. And because he coached those players when they were playing, they know his philosophy. Yes, and, and I, I guess he's still coaching them in terms of being coaches and trainers and telling them what's important when you feed and when you make a strategy for a pair and, uh, and so on. And it's also interesting, I mean, this, we don't really see mixes in uh, Japanese pairings. They, they play in the combinations that... Um, well played here. Yeah. But they play in the combinations that um, they have in their companies. Yeah. And and they're patient and they develop players and I think that's important whereas sometimes you get a feeling that uh, it's just switching players around and hope you hit jackpot but it's even more important in my opinion to develop players. That, that's impressive. It's also very rare that players change companies because they have some uh, benefits. Um, but I think actually Tanaka and Yonemoto, they are one of uh, the, or two of the players that actually have done it. Uh, also, Aya Ohori, the fourth women's singles player in the um, A team. He changed from NTT East. points to the Japanese pair, then five straight points to Polly yeah. and Rahayu. We had a peculiar scoring pattern in the men's singles too, didn't we, with Chen Long and Anthony Ginting. It's gone wide. She's not afraid to uh, get involved on the front court, Tanaka. I like that. That that should, um, over time, she should develop to a, a really good front court player as well, or sort of be able to function well in that role. It's um, much better than if you are too afraid of, um, of um, involving yourself in the rallies and just leaving everything for your back court player, who's then got an awfully big um, area to cover. I think she was right to go for that interception, Polly. E. Yeah. It's definitely within her hitting zone. It was. I just don't think. I, I think maybe she should just have gone for the block. That's so easy to say when yeah. you've seen it in uh, in yeah. replay. Um, 
but of course one of the uh, targets when all right-handed players could be to uh, let your flat defense go towards the backhand side of their opponents that's more difficult to uh, intercept or even block unless you have Kevin Sukamoli you just yes. kill it with the backhand or with the grip of the racket. also one of the explanations of these scoring uh, streaks that we've seen that if you're a little bit off if you're a little bit too short on a couple of uh, rallies then uh, you're in dire straits or if you hit them too long because you're a little bit tense then uh, full of adrenaline so it's it's a battle for the control and if you get it you're in good shape if you don't get it you're in you're in trouble time in this second game. Bolli and Rahayu. Goodness. This is unbelievable. Uh, aiming towards the right hip in the end of Tanaka did the damage. And on a run of four straight points, the number four seeds, Gracia Poli and Apriani Urahai. ここね、あとネットマイ本当にちょっと微妙なとこ相手本当にマスクるから変わされる次はもう取れないからここ本当にね結構入れば全然除去違うなここネットマイねそうだからここ本当に強度ね最初結構確実入れるねポシュだったら
philosophy. But it, it's interesting that they've, um, they've struggled um, a bit, Minamoto and, uh, and Tanaka. They didn't play uh, in January or February on, on the World Tour. Um, oh! six, six tournaments overall. Yeah. I think they've seen so well, yeah, well, on the World Tour. Tour. Yeah. And they've seen uh, Hirota and um, uh, Fukushima do well. They've seen uh, Nakahara and um, Matsumoto become world champions and do well. And they have the Olympic champions as well. So they're sort of like no! the fourth pair in the A team at the moment. And um, and there's pairs uh, coming from, from the B team that are doing well. Akuramoto, uh, Sakuramoto and... Um, Takahata. Mm. Yes, well, the fact that they're the eighth pair on the World Tour ranking from yeah. Japan, uh, it's got to be putting pressure on them. Oh, that's nice. It's very, um, very strict selection criteria in the Japanese team. It's four spots, basically, and then if there's some special talent, then can be extended in, in women's doubles. Fukuman and um, Yonao, they uh, were committed to playing these top tournaments, so they had to field them in Japan. They were not in the A-team. They are the only uh, women's doubles pair who's lost in the first round in all three Super 1000 tournaments and the two Super 750s the tournaments that they've committed in. They've lost the first round in all five of them. Wow. <laughs> just wide. That crouch defense there from Apriani. My goodness me, it was almost a sensational shot. But look at the power in the legs to stand back up again. And she was doing everything to reduce the pace because she knew that it was going to yeah. be a close call. Yeah. 13 all. back into the lead. Also, in my opinion, develop their um, odd positions, Poli and uh, Rahayo. So that there, that she's become a little bit more dangerous in the smashes, and then Rahayo has a lot of mobility on the front court. So um, definitely, also uh, a dangerous um, setup. It's not only Rahayo working on the back court and, no. and Poli at the net. Little uh, inaccurate shot from Rahayo and immediately uh, punished. Uh, 
right into the corner. That's lovely. So interesting now we saw this um, Indonesian women's doubles play last week where they played a much more defensive style in a slower hall so the hall changes so we change our playing style yes according. it is fascinating here comes the forehand serve again wouldn't stand too close to the net if I was you no I know what's coming to take half a step forward the Japanese pair in the defense um, give away some chances when you stand too far back come to play a little too much below the tape and that creates opportunities for the front court player Lost patience again, didn't they? Yep. Tanaka. I think she was the one that was injured at the beginning of the year, you know, Steen. That's possible. Yeah. And that explains things that um, they haven't really been able to perform so well. Four straight points for a three point advantage. The number four seeds. little flick with the racket gives it a little bit of extra power and with that good shot comes match point opportunities she's not moved her receiving position at all Tanaka I find that extraordinary Court and the number four seeds Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu are through to a second semi final in two weeks. A fourth consecutive semi final, I think, in tournaments played. Or maybe it's even five. 
Thailand Open. They reached the final. Indonesian. No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, and then the World Championships, Asian Games, Japan Open. But one thing is for sure. Two game victory, 21 19, 21 16 in a match lasting 44 minutes.